Welcome back to Good Living. I'm with Molly Hearth now from Citizens Advice. We've just been having a lovely discussion about how beautiful the city's looking, but once the daffies died down, the tulips and things will be coming. Oh, I, well. I hope so. We've got a few tulips growing in our garden, and I'm sure that eventually those roses are going to start popping yeah. out as well. Yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Uh, now, Molly, we're going to be talking today about lots of things, but we'll start yep. off talking about the website as well, because yep. a lot of people might not know that you've got a fantastic really interactive website with Citizens yep, Advice. Yeah, we've got a new website which is www.cab.org.nz. So easy to remember, cab, C-A-B. C-A-B.org.nz and you just enter in anything, like if you don't want to come in and speak to us, you don't have the time because your children are yelling in the background, <laughs> or you might be able to get sneak away for five minutes to use the computer, you can just enter it stuff in there like uh, food banks for example it'll come up with the different options for food banks in Christchurch so you don't actually have to come in and see us or you don't actually have to come in and ring us up you can actually go and do the research for yourself because it's about us making ourselves more available mm. to the public and recognizing that people are searching for information in different ways so it's really good for people to have that option and choice for themselves like budgeting or, or should I say budget if you type in budget you'll come up with different options and different choices there as well and obviously if you need any further clarification or you do need to have a chat with someone yep. that service is still available that as is well, still this available is a really good starting point that is still available I mean we are always there you can always still come in and see us and speak to someone you can always still use the 0800 number and you'll be speaking directly to a person not to a automated dialing system which no, says which press refreshing. one to speak to blah blah <laughs> you will be speaking to a person so we do actually have lots of information on there and um, we've also um, been working with uh, community law canterbury and they've produced some fact sheets relating to the earthquake which we do Good have idea. generalized fact sheets on like tenancy employment uh, insurance so it's just basic information but if people want information that specifically relates to their particular situation they're more than welcome to come in and and ring us to check out the free legal advice at all three branches. And how does that system work? They come in, make an appointment with well, a lawyer? Well, the best way is to actually use the 0800 number, mm -hmm. check that the lawyer's actually going to be there. Mm -hmm. At our city branch and community house, it's on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday between 1 and 2. And there they actually have a booking system where you go up to the counter and we'll give you a little square piece of paper with a number in the queue. Mm -hmm. um, at our Bishopdale and Bishopdale branch, it's on a Thursday evening from 7.30 onwards. And at Hornby, it's from 6.15 onwards on a Thursday evening as well. But so there's many times to see. But it's on a first come, first serve basis. So people really need to get there early and they need to check that the lawyer's actually going to be there because we've had a few disruptions. Our Bishopdale branch has been out for a couple of weeks due to the earthquake mm. and getting the building assessed. But our Hornby branch and city branch are open. So they uh, obviously then get to see a lawyer and get to spend for around about five or ten minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes, and if they actually bring all of their paperwork with them and actually have a clear idea in their mind the question that they actually want asked, and then if it is worthwhile pursuing legally, the lawyer will actually give them a referral to someone else. So it's a really good starting place mm. for knowing is this actually worthwhile pursuing or not? And, and giving them legal information with an actual trained professional who can actually look at the ins and outs of their particular case. Because we can give people basic information sheets and guidelines, but sometimes there are little wee individual peculiarities. Exactly that they'll need to discuss with a professional. Okay, so that's fantastic. And do make the most of that because, as you mentioned, there's been so much going on. There uh, has been. In the last you know month or so particularly, that um, being able to sit down and talk with a professional is a really good, really good idea. And I think that there will be some long-term consequences mm. for some people arising out of the earthquake. I mean, there could be people on fixed-term tenancies who haven't paid their rent, and they are still obliged under that contract, and they do actually need to have 
have an open and forthright discussion with their landlord, there is actually a really, although I know they'll hate me for mentioning them, there is actually a really good organisation locally called the Tenants Protection Association. Mm. And they're really good at reminding people about their rights and responsibilities as good. a tenant. Okay, fantastic. So do make the most of that. Also, we've got time so we'll quickly talk about um, wills and power yep. of attorney yep. because once again at this time, you know, it's so important to have that sorted out, to have your affairs in order. It is really important. I mean, we were so lucky that we didn't lose any loss of life because mm. of the earthquake. And people often say, well, what do I need a will? I don't, I don't have any possessions. I have nothing. But it could boil down to the fact that your poor relatives who are grieving your passing actually have to go through a whole series of extra hoops and events to actually um, get your affairs settled. For example, um, wins will still continue paying through to your bank account, your benefit. I mean, it's really important to have things clear and to see a professional as well mm. when you're actually making that. Well, I mean, just a little thing like, I would like to leave my estate to my children what children, your foster children, your stepchildren, your biological children, you've got to be very careful about how you actually word your will and you've got to leave no room for um, ambiguity mm. and it is really important to consult a lawyer. Some lawyers will actually do the drawing up of the will for free um, as long as you make them your ex executor. Mm. Others will charge. I mean it just depends and it's important to ring round to get prices of what they will charge. Because they are different. They are they different very, yeah. and the, the thing with be, being an executor means that they're the ones who see that your wishes are adhered to and they may charge your estate at the end. So mm. there's different hooks and different choices around which way you do it. Okay. But some really good advice there, Molly, and people really need to, of course, if they need any further information, give yep. citizens advice or call and you can help them along that line. But just make sure that you do have your affairs in order because you never it, know. It's so important because it's actually your family that will actually suffer at the end of the day. Oh, and they're not in the right frame of mind to be thinking no, about that kind of thing. It's just they? nasty. <laughs> Thank you very much, Molly. Citizens Advice Bureau, three locations. Of course, City, that's all open and running now. Uh, Bishop Dale, um, which is in the Bishop Dale Community Centre, is that right? Okay and uh, Hornby too. So the phone number 0800 367 222 and that website, have a look, it's fantastic and interactive just for you, cab.org.nz.